I think my favorite memory about George Bennett was actually when I first met him. Um, we, it was July of 2015 and we rode together all the way to James Madison University for a cyber boot camp that we were taking together. It was a week long class and we'd meet up for breakfast and then sit side by side in class all week. And we learned a lot of stuff and we had so much fun that by the time we were riding back together, it was like we had known each other for a really long time. And um, that's probably my very best memory of him other than his black cowboy hat. When he'd be coming to school, he'd have it on. And when he'd be leaving school, he'd be whistling down the hall with his cowboy hat on. That was very cool. Um, I think what I'll miss most is his smile, his humor, um, and his drama. <laughs> if you knew George, you knew he had some drama in him. Other than being a drama teacher for 12 years, I mean that he was always about the dramatic and it was, it was always fun, mostly always fun. Um, when he came to work at, at the academy, he and I were the, were the only cyber teachers there. And so we interacted a lot. Um, the teachers, a couple teachers before, weren't very involved in the Cyber Patriot Club, and I felt like I had to run it myself. But George really took an interest, and he was he was a good teammate in that regard. He brought humor and a love of teaching to the school, I think. And I think that's reflected in the way his students loved him. I think he would have been just amazed at how much his kids loved him. Um, they want to name the Cyber Patriot Club after him. They did a wonderful memorial for him. And I would just say, Peter Hills, and I'll miss you. Hi, my name is Rachel Crawford. I'm an Academy support teacher um, at the Chantilly Academy, and I've been asked to share some things about Mr. Bennett. Um, I supported his cyber classes this year and last year. Um, he definitely impacted me the biggest, I think, in how he just showed me that even later in life, um, you can kind of still choose what you want to do and make life your own. Um, he really wanted to teach cyber after working in the industry for a little bit, um, but he ran into some problems with um, licensure, so he had to wait a little bit to teach. So he taught some other things um, and just kept at it. And I think probably the biggest thing I'll miss about him is that he was just a really um, friendly guy. And, you know, I could always uh, go to him if I just needed a smile because he would always smile and greet you at the door. And he should definitely be remembered as um, someone who deep down cared about his students and really cared about his job, took it very seriously, um, and I will miss him.